Hi there, we're Jay Murphy here. <laughs> JP here. Um, we're just going to give you a quick rundown of the, of the season. So, uh, JP, uh, what's the season been like, bro? Mate, it's been uh, one hell of a season on and off the field. Um, boys are really gelled. Uh, myself, a bit up and down, a few uh, bumpy patches with injury. Uh, uh, managed to pull the end of the season together. I think uh, I think that you've just uh, bought into that ethos of Graham. You put your you put your body on the line, and you've uh, you've worn a few few bruises for it, kind of. That's right, man. If Graham was here, he'd tell you to strap it up. He uh, played with the hamstring torn off the bone, so you can't really argue with that, can you? Oh, this is it. <laughs> Uh, just moving on from there, so uh, what's it been like working with, working with Graham? Assuming? He's a special character and he, uh, uh, people talk about the dark arts of uh, front row work and he, um, I tell you what, he's one hell of a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, would you say you've picked up some tips, these dark arts? From, I've picked uh, up a few tips. So up a few, yeah. You're just going to keep keeping, them tucked Keeping those close to my chest. Uh, oh, mate, I like it, I like yeah. it. And uh, just, uh, just before we finish, how, how good was this squad? How good in terms of you must have played with a few. Yeah, getting on now, it's yeah, you similar are, ages. Yeah, uh, me and you, buddy. We have to, uh, we, we've been around a bit, we but are. I have to say this is one of the best, if not the best, squad that I've played in in, in terms of culture and work ethic and just all round ability. And Fantastic. And uh, have you got any uh, messages for, for Graham and the supporters? We know you're, you're off on your travels. The yeah. Year, but, uh, well, I'll be heading off, but. I mean, one of the biggest things from a player's point of view is has been the supporters and, and if you guys could just stick in there and, and, and do it for the players because I know it's one thing we mentioned in the, in the change room before the game is do it for ourselves but do it for the supporters as well. So stick in there behind the boys and, and, and uh, help Graham out as well. Uh, thanks. Hello. This was good. Um, good crowd, good travel and support, a good bond between the team. Um, this squad has got so, such potential. It's been obviously a lot of people drafted in, four players to stay from last year. It's just incredible the way that people have come together and we've all bonded as one team. And you couldn't have done that without Graham, Simon, Jan, obviously all the other coaches that we've had. It's just been, it's been a perfect season. Obviously not very, not very good when we went to administration, but we came through that and we've, we've had a good end to the season, just hopefully push through to Richmond and give the coaches what they really want and end the season on high. Thank you. Cheers, Graham. Um, just from obviously one of the older heads in the squad, I just want to say uh, a massive thanks to, to Graham firstly for giving me the opportunity and giving a lot of the boys the opportunity to become full-time rugby players. And um, the last, last 10, 11 months have been just crazy. Um, I think, um, I'd hope, to uh, think that I've made lifelong friends in that change room and uh, it's going to be disappointing to see a few of them move on but I wish them the best um, and obviously none of this would have been possible without you Dorsey so yeah thank you for that and then supporters as well you've been my adjectives are getting sloppy now you've been uh, phenomenal you've been uh, amazing I can't put into words how great you've been the boys have really appreciated it and um, yeah just stick with the, stick with the team uh, this club this club will keep growing and it'll get back to where it should be, so thanks very much. I come in halfway through the season or just before Christmas and uh, yeah, I said to the players before, it's like being, it's like, it's like being here for pre-season. I think yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a great season for me playing-wise and you know, coming into the team and, and being a, a, a member of it. So for me it's probably been, out of the four or five things I've been at Albany, probably the best season I've, I've had. Um, I know, I've worked with Graham when I was 18, I'm quite young. And then obviously I've come back now a little bit, a little bit more mature. And I think you just got to appreciate what his knowledge and and what he knows about the game and and small, you know, all the small details that you wouldn't really think about if you watch the game. But if he's next to you, he'll point out certain bits. And you're like, well, yeah, fair enough. So yeah, I think he's, he's just a, you know, he just knows so much, so much knowledge and and stuff. And what I learned, well, and that learned a lot in, in four or five years and it all stemmed from him you know, when I was 18 so yeah and I've, I've played at some, you know, some some right teams from starting at Albion so it's been really good and I think as well this is this is the best squad that I've, I've been part of you know I've made some unreal friends who I still speak to now in previous scenes at Albion but actually being a squad and being part of a squad this is 
it's probably the best. This um, this season's been massive for me. You know, my first year back and back playing again, and you know, after these long five years of um, having all these you know these huge injuries to to come and have this first season back where I haven't had any you know injuries yet. That's where the last game of the season. Um, you know, it's a massive confidence boost for me, and you know, I think Grant has helped this. You know, giving my my confidence back by um, putting me in that that starting eight position and back player where I, you know, which used to play when I was at college and uh, as as a young child, and um, you know, I thank him for that. And, um, you know, it's going to be a hard thing to lose. You know, some of these key players in this squad that we've we've all grown so much to, uh, you know, love and um, how how well we've come together and you know. You know, you look at the table now and manage to get that kind of that top three space and from from a group of players that were nobody and you know, that guy again, Graham Dawes has been the guy that's 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 brought this team together and um, you know, been one of the main reasons for our success. So um, you know, it's it, it will be hard to, to what goes on and to go on next year and to see um, who's gonna come in and who's gonna start running things but you know, I think we can look at we can look back at this year, and you know we'll we'll look on and, and see how how big of a year that it was for us, and you know how enjoyable and and fun you know it was, and hopefully one day we can we can try and get this team back together, you know somehow to the way that it was you know, this year, and you know look look to push on again, but. You know, as a last kind of final thought, you know, I thank you for your hard work you've put in, and you know, you've been a great, great guy to me on and off the field. So thank you. Right, uh, we're joined by two Albion heroes here. We've got Billy Sell and Rupert Freestone. They're just going to give us a quick uh, recap on what the season's meant to them. So, uh, boys, we we'll start for Bill. What, uh, what's the season been like for you then? Um, for me, it's been an amazing season for me. Really, my first season full time professional. So. For me, it was a bit unexpected, didn't know what was going to happen, but it didn't start off how I wanted it to, not starting, but once I got into the team, I think I've done quite well, and it's obviously led to what's going to happen in the future, so I can't thank them enough for what's happened to me. Um, it's been one of my best season, I think, with the boys. I've got the tightest group of boys I've ever been, ever been with, so I'm really going to miss this place, and I owe a lot to it. Fantastic. Same for you, Rupi. What's it been like coming back to the old stomping I've, I've, I've had a great time this year. Um, Obviously, I spent three years here when I was younger, um, which I didn't get as much game time as I'd have liked. Um, whereas this year, you know, I've had a lot of game time, um, and you know, I've been part of, of what's been largely a winning team. Um, I love playing playing for Graham. Um, you know, my first three years here were a bit of a bit of a tough one with him, a bit of a love hate relationship maybe. Um, but I think nowadays it's a lot more love than hate. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, I've, I've really, really enjoyed this year. It's been a great squad. Um, probably, probably one of the best that I've I've played with. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a, been probably my my favourite season of senior rugby. Fantastic. You touched on it there. Graham's obviously uh, <coughs> integral to everything everything we've done this year. So what's it been like working with him? To get it from a backs perspective first, but what's it been like working oh, yeah. with um, Graham? Awesome working with Graham. Really good drills. Love working with Graham. But also for me. He's the first coach I've actually really wanted to play for. He just has that effect on you that you've got to keep play on your toes. You've got to stay on your toes because he will drop you. He's not afraid to drop you. So for me, he's helped my game a lot. Game management skills, just this whole aspect, how he looks at the game, has helped me a lot. And I owe a lot to Graham from bringing me from Cornwall. He brought me here. So without Graham, I wouldn't be where I was, where I'm going now. So without Graham, I owe a lot to Graham. To be fair. And the same for you. You've obviously worked with him a couple of years ago, and you said uh, you said. Did you say he's mellowed out a little bit? Is he a different kind of character? Um, we weren't here, so we weren't. I don't, I don't know. I, I suppose the, the stakes may have been slightly higher in, in the championship. I, I don't know if maybe he felt second time around that it, it could be a little bit more relaxed, but I've definitely noticed Graham mellow. Um, but then I suppose maybe that comes with the results. You know, we've, we've won a lot of games this year, so a lot more smiles on faces. But I, I, love, I love training training with him and, and playing with him, he, you know, for someone who's 55 or 56 years old, to still be getting involved in, in contact sessions, um, screaming in my ear before I'm about to throw a ball in or getting his head underneath the scrum machine um, as we as we go in for training, um, you know, you don't you don't get that from, from many coaches. 
um, and he's he's the most approachable coach I've I've worked with, um, which makes the the mood in the camp a lot happier because um, I've played for coaches before where you know you're out of selection and um, you know you don't really feel like you can ask the questions that you need to ask. Um, whereas Graham, he, you know, he might have a very obscure answer to your questions, but you don't feel afraid to ask him. So yeah, I, I yeah, can can ask much more from him. Really. Fantastic. And uh, we'll just finish off, Bill. Obviously, we know you're uh, you're moving on to Bristol, and uh, over at the club, I wish you the best, and don't forget us. Have you, uh, have you got any last words for the supporters and the, the guys that've been around this year? Um, yeah, uh, I will miss this group of players a lot. I feel like it's the tightest group that I've ever played with. Can't really say a bad word about anyone. But I'll help you maybe, but <laughs> won't go into that. Nah, but yeah, this group of players, I think, we've got such a good bond on and off the field. It's really like, that's what's made us win so many games, I believe. I think to the fans as well, they've travelled all over the world, well, all over the world, <laughs> all over the place to watch our games in like, like the worst ground. And to me, without them, we wouldn't have won as many games either. So I thank all the fans, all the boys here this year, and all the coaching staff. For what's been such a good season and improved my development. Cheers, Bill. Uh, and Roops, obviously, you're uh, you're just siphoning through all the the offers you've had flooding in. So uh, <laughs> obviously, we can't comment yet on the, your situation next year. But uh, just just leave us with a with a few words. Um, well, on behalf of our squad this year, I'd, I'd like to thank all the play all the players and the supporters um, for their incredible support. Um, you know, travelling to Bladen and uh, Wharfdale when it's howling gale and absolutely pouring with rain and snow. Um, you know, to still turn out with as many supporters as the opposition have at home is, is phenomenal. Just, uh, now we are at the, the end of the season. It's time to conclude, so a few words uh, just to tell thank you to, to all the boys I play with this year. Thank you for Graham to uh, our coach uh, to bring me here and uh, I live an uh, outstanding season here uh, in Plymouth and I hope I uh, have another season here uh, for next season and about this season just uh, the word for me is outstanding um, just that because uh, we, we don't know each other at the beginning of the season, there is 10 months ago, and now we are a really big group of mates, and uh, we did very well all the season. And just thank you to the, all of the boys and the background staff uh, for this season. It was amazing for me. I come from France, and I live, and I yeah, um, I saw a lot of special sync here around the rugby on the field, and it was uh, just amazing for me. Well, um, been a long old season, and um, you know, last game this week, obviously, ready at the tail end. It feels like it's gone real quick, um, but been a great, great season on and off the field. You know, coming together and achieving what we have done, and um, coming together as a group of players as well. So, I think it's definitely going to be a season to remember for all of us. Uh, yeah, just getting off what I was saying, uh, as a team, it's been great. Um, personally, it's been a good experience. Uh, it's been nice to be in a professional setup. Um, whatever happens at the end of the season, I'm going to be able to take away what's happened. And, you know, um, take it into my professional um, career, hopefully. Um, yeah, well, um, you know, also, first chance for myself to work with Graham. And um, definitely been an enlightening experience. Uh, but uh, but great bloke, and he's always always been testing throughout the year. Um, you know, trying to get the best out of players, and um, you know, he ch challenges everyone whether you think you've made a right decision or not. And um, you know, he's helped the growth of the team and growth of growth of players individually. And you know, definitely definitely learnt a lot. You know, not just uh, technical things, but you know, attitude towards towards training and towards the game. So um, you know, I think everything together has been been a hell of a year and yeah, definitely want to remember like what he said. So I think Ollie would agree this season's been really, really enjoyable. Um, 
you know, we all came together in pre-season. None of us really knew each other. Um, so just, you know, initially getting to know each other, you know, bonding as a team was really good. And, you know, I'm sure people would agree from, you know, an outside perspective, we got a very good um, team spirit. Um, so, you know, just the social aspect of it coming together as a team has been really good. But also, you know, growing on the pitch as well, like, you know, in terms of our our patterns, our sort of principles. I've, I think personally, you know, we've seen it develop as this season's gone on, and it's just been really good to sort of, you know, develop our our play as a team and just work together. You know, it's like I say, it's a really great bunch of guys, and um, we've all sort of we've just gelled and um, yeah. Also, working with Graham has been fantastic. The amount of knowledge he's passed on to me and Chaz is, yeah. is paramount. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah. Each scrum session, he's got these little things that he'll just mention to you and, and tweak the, and it's just paid off in, in for us as, yeah. as, as props. Mm -hmm. Having Graham to come to coach us has just been fantastic, really. I think, yeah, 100%. You know, Graham's always, especially, you know, scrummaging sessions, he's always really, really pushed us. Um, he's made us work very hard, but. I think it's paid off and I definitely feel like I've learned a lot and it's been really, yeah. really, I'd say a really enriching experience. He's also me. probably one of the better, nicest mm. blokes you ever meet, but yeah. he looks the most terrifying yeah. as well. <laughs> if you could speak he's got, to yeah, he's, he's, always, so... he's always got a lot of time for you, especially yeah, if you want to talk about really. scrums. Yeah. So that's been, yeah. that's been awesome. Been the highlight, highlight of the season as well. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of what we've learned, I'd say me as an individual, no scrums. Yeah, same thing. Um, just, just through also just playing, not only through the coaching that we've had, because Graham's been really good, but you know, just coming so up He supported us week in, week out, hasn't he, yeah. as, a, as, a, as a pair, and he's yeah. backed our abilities to, to scrum and also to, to play yeah, as, a, as a road player. So well, I mean, I've never played National One before, so. Neither have I. That was, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's been a learning curve in that respect. Um, but yeah, it's just been. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, hasn't it? Massive yeah, whirlwind. It's all just gone from here to massively upwards, so yeah. we could, this could be a massive, massive positive. Mm. Um, and how good is this squad? I would say... Exceptional. This squad, in terms of uh, team spirit, you know, on-pitch ability, and just overall cohesion, I'd say this is one of, the, you know, one of the most enjoyable squads to have been a part of for this yeah. season, and, you know, there's a lot of talented guys in our team and the sure. fact that we've all been able to come together and play as a team has been, for me, you know, that's been a real, you know, genuinely, well, I'd say, yeah, it's been a genuine honour. Everyone's been on the same page, haven't they? Everyone's yeah. on the same page, willing to learn and it's just been a top season and it's a top squad. Yeah. It's just a shame that we can't live it next year.